Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I just decided to attempt the next boss. I'm assuming it is over here somewhere. Not entirely sure. I'm I'm seeing fire and stuff. I don't know. Where it is, though. Okay, I see the Hydra. Is it over here in this circular? Oh, there it is. Don't you have to, like, hit him back or something? I can't remember. I really don't know how the Hydra works. No. I'm pretty sure you... Oh, you just have to hit the, the body. Apparently there is... Holy cow, that's large explosions. Apparently there's like a bit here that I didn't see. Luckily, uh, since I'm so bad at <laughs> combat, the uh, Tinker stuff makes this pretty trivial. Alright, maybe one day I'll uh, come here and try to do this the right way, but <laughs> not today. Alright, so what do we got? Fiery Blood, which is good. There's the Hydrotophy, Mintra Hearts. Alright, so we got that boss down. And Night Phantom. Oh, this one, yeah. That's right. I have seen this before. Um, I don't remember where it is, though. Um, so I'll have to check that out. Anyway, just kind of figured I would defeat the next boss. wonder... Oh, I wonder if that's the... Yeah, like that top left, maybe? Is that what they are? I don't know. Let me... Uh... I'm curious now. I was going to head back, but now that I'm here, I have a feeling it is those on the top left, right? Is that the next bosses? All right, this may be the next area. Um, because last time I tried to come in here, there was like a, like a curse over it. I don't know. Not a curse, but like it caused like crazy blindness when I tried to get in here. Now I don't know if this is like an underground thing or I don't remember. Let's just kind of head over here. And I do have my night vision on, otherwise this would be like pitch black. This is a pretty cool biome, though. I like that you can actually walk underneath it, as opposed to like some forests in Minecraft, where right? every five seconds you're hitting a tree. All right, so not entirely sure what I am looking for here. I don't really see anything. Let me come back when I have found the next boss. All right, so I 
found a little kind of area. And here is a latent trophy pedestal. And apparently doing that opens up the stronghold. So yeah, look for the latent thing. That is the real location for this. Oh my God, we got bombs going on and all sorts. Okay, lots of silver fish in here. So let's, let's be careful here. I don't know. I kind of love the uh, their look though. I don't know what the layout is of this place or really. I'm assuming probably go down <laughs> is, oh, hello. Are they, is that like a flail? Oh my God, that's awesome. I'm getting armor shards, which is pretty cool. So what's in here? Looks like another layer. I don't know if there's a correct way to do this or just kind of Wing it a bit. Okay, so is this like a... Oh, that's probably just the the night vision. Yeah, I have so much iron wood. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, it looks like there's no like crazy spawners in here. Like some of the some of the places and this place is big okay i apparently can't do anything all right uh i didn't know how to deal with that so I had to pause it really quick and look it up. Um, you just have to attack it really fast. Well, hopefully we'll see that again. I just didn't want to die because I didn't know what to do. Um, I would assumed the boss is like on the bottom. Be my guess. All right, let me... Uh, Let me see if I think I've been through here. Yeah. Let me see if I can find something interesting. Oh, I haven't been here yet. I do have that quest to kill bats. <laughs> so I might as well. All right. I don't know what I'm kind of looking for here. I should like maybe place torches at the entrance, so I know I've been in there, maybe. Anyway, uh, we will come back when I have maybe found something kind of interesting. I have no idea what this is. This looks like a ghost of the, the guy I killed. Oh, it's just a twilight wave. All right, so I found a kind of cool room here. Got to be careful about falling in. Got some like ores and stuff. Oh, hello. Um, so I don't know how to get down there. We will check that out. Is this uh, anything up here? No, just kind of like a second floor. Lots of creepers all of a sudden. All right, I will come back. All right, I just entered like a big kind of room. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, I just noticed this over here. Looks a little different than everything I've seen. I don't know if this is just like a 
treasure room or something or it does look like uh something a little more yep so isn't one of these like fake or something isn't that how it like works kind of apparently i can just shoot them all and they don't do anything Yep, apparently that was it. I don't know what they were supposed to do, or <laughs> attack me, or what that was all about, but yeah, so there is the stuff. I wonder if you can like even repair this. I don't really know. Throw that in there. Yeah, I might take those. Bread I don't need, dirt I don't need. All right, but there is the do I want unbreaking fire? Nah, I don't know. I'm not really not gonna wear this anyway. I don't know why I'm like worrying that much about it. Um, but anyway, that is that should be the the next boss. Yep. So next one is the your gas, which is at the top of the tower, and I think I know where that actually is. Yeah, it's at center one in this green forest thing. Like if I face that way, it's the thing in the center, I think. Um, but anyway, I don't think I'm gonna do that one. Well, I don't know. I gotta get out of here first. What if I can just dig up? Curious if that would actually work. It looks like you can actually dig up. Is that like a. I don't even know if this is like a. part of the. how it spawns? I really don't even know. So, oh uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Uh, with a. With the crossbow, it kind of trivializes so much of the, the Twilight Forest. Is this a squirrel? It is. <laughs> Get out of my way, squirrel. So it looks like you can just kind of dig your way out. All right. Not too bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's either meet back at home or I will go try to kill the year guest. I'll probably head back home, I think, uh, for now. All right, I remembered there was a king slime by my base. So I figured, why not go ahead and kill that? Does this even work? Apparently it does. Anyway, I just wanted to kill that slime because there is actually a quest to kill it. the king slime. Um, and I also... Since I'm kind of in a boss killing kind of mood, I wanted to kill another wither. And I wanted to like come farther away. Hopefully it doesn't set those things on fire. But I figure. I'm much stronger than I was the first time I attacked him. Now I have nano armor and stuff. And maybe he will be distracted by all the animals again. Hopefully that, yeah, that'll go away just in time. Alright, nice. So that wasn't too bad at all. And the reason I wanted to do that is for that. And there is that one. I can claim any of these. 
Uh, how about that? I have no idea if I'm going to actually use it, but uh, I was kind of hoping this would open up uh, one of the quests to use the heart canisters, but apparently not. Anyway, let's head back to the base and see what we can get into. All right, we are back at the base, and I have been doing some crafting up here. Uh, because, uh, like I said last episode, I did want to try to get a large chemical reactor up and running. Uh, at least check it out and see how it works. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but... Um, one of the things I need here is... No, oh, these chemically inert machine casings. So I need a... A six here. Do I have any more? I guess I could borrow that one. So many circuits. I thought I had... Oh, I had one right there. Oh, well. Alright, so these need the solid steel machine casings and poly tetrafluorine. Fluoroethylene. And I'm going to do eight of these, which is, this is one and a half ingots, so eight would be 12. All right, so, oh, that was really quick. All right, so I think I'm probably going to need more of these because if we look at this it's time to build the whole thing i need like how many of that 15 hatches and stuff oh and by the way uh with the updates the input buses and input hatches have been made easier so i replace this uh input hatch let's take a look at that really quick so input bus before they needed components like uh, conveyor belts i think it was but now it is just a machine hull with a chest and an assembler and some sort of like liquid so this is polyethylene I used um, but that is much easier than they used to be so I don't know if the hatch let's see a fluid hatch yep so same it's just an input hull and an iron tank this one's an iron tank um, I think like the lower ones would be yeah like that copper so on and so forth um, but they're made much easier, so I don't need pumps or anything for that. The energy hatches, though, have not been changed. So, like, that still requires this kind of crazy um, recipe. The pumps are the most annoying, for sure. Um, but, yeah, the other one... Man, I'm just thinking, like, if this requires... <laughs> If it wants me to do 15 output hatches, that is like, that's eight stainless steel each. Oh, what is going on here? Did I run out of, I can't remember what, it... oh, that's right, I think. Hmm. Uh, I must have run out of power and I didn't realize. Right, it was probably running and I only had the one thing. I've been kind of turning this off until I need it. Just so I don't waste so much. Yeah, so I got still 2 million oil in there. Alright, anyway. So that's just cooking up my stainless steel because I need quite a bit of it. Um, now the next thing I have, all of these... And, uh, oh, I did move this stuff over. I moved some stuff around to kind of organize my chest a bit, and I moved all these over um, so it's a little closer. Um, but I think... Can you do that? Yeah, you can, actually. So this will... Wait a second. If I don't have all the items, will that... I'm trying to remember, like... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, well, okay, that's pretty cool. 
They probably won't do it with Greg Tech Tools. Um, but there is the large chemical reactor. With that, that should be that. So, yep. So this PTFE pipe casing, I think we need one of these, right? Yeah, one of these. So let's take a look at this. Just a bunch of Teflon here. So how much do I need for this? These are at least three each. Yeah, those are three each. So 12, 16, and 2, 18. I made sheets with these, but now I'm almost thinking would have been better to make them ingots because like these I can't put ingots through the extruder or sheets um, maybe I will I don't know I think I can smelt these right yeah all right so that is that we will get going I'm just going to put it here so I kind of remember what I have and what I have. So these, yeah, I just put through the extruder. And again, these can't go through the extruder. So I think maybe getting ingots would probably be better. So there is that. There it is. So I can make one. I just want to see how much left I have. I'm probably going to do the rest with maybe a couple hatches and just do the rest solid steel or the chemically inert, I think. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, you need a minimum of eight. And I can't wait to get all this stuff automated. We're getting there. Oh, I miscalculated that. Whoops. Can these be... Alright, they can't be smelted back, so that's good to know as well. I don't know if I need these. 96... Yeah, that's not very much. Anyway, let's go ahead and make this. So there is the pipe casing, now a copper nickel I have from my old blast furnace right there. That is a bit annoying because now it's an odd number. Alright, so that's everything for the quest, looks like. Yeah. So do I want a bunch of Teflon or do I want a bunch of stainless steel? Hmm. I don't use these very often. But can they be like, yeah, that's eight stainless steel and one electron each. Or do I want to get, that's 96 things of. I may wait on that. I'm leaning towards that stainless steel because I'm going to need so much of it. So let me just go ahead and do it. Because if you think about it, all these hatches, or actually, why was I, now that I'm thinking about it, these don't need to be, why was I thinking these need to be stainless steel? They don't. They can just be regular steel. All right, so we got that, we got that. Let's kind of see how I am planning on doing this. Now, I think, does this have to be? 
could be any hatch. So I could even do LV. Um... So my main thing is this. This is my kind of annoying thing to craft at the moment because I have to keep worrying about that. So just kind of for now, I think. Although I was kind of thinking of putting it on this side, to be honest. Maybe like over here. Because there is like my light fuel. I don't know, but anyway, let's I'm just take a look at this. So this is a three by three by three. It does need a maintenance hatch. Let me see what I have over here. So there is an input bus. I don't know if I need. As an input hatch, do we have like an output hatch? I have a medium hatch, I have an energy hatch. Let's go for a medium. Don't need those. All right, I don't have an output hatch, unfortunately. Or a maintenance hatch. Uh, so I'm gonna have to craft this up. Um, but I think this goes in the center, right? Yeah, the controller goes in the center, so it's going to be kind of like... If I put it, like, right here... Yeah, how do I want this? Well, the only thing I think, if from reading the... This goes in the middle, inside the hollow casing, so this is going to go like this. And then this needs to go next to it, is... Cooper nickel coil block next to the casing, so it needs to go somewhere like that. And then the rest is hatches and these uh, inert casings. So let me go ahead and, oh, this goes right there. So I think that's kind of what it's going to look like. I don't know if I'm going to put it right here. So let me figure this all out. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to uh, kind of figure out how I want to do this and how to get fluids over here, and we will come back. All right, I'm just making the last of my chemically inert um, things, and I'm using the nuggets so I can get the oops, some short one. Well, I was I think I maybe I miscalculated this. I thought they were sixteen. It's like one and a half. I thought. Am I going to be left with? Yeah, I'm left with. So, yeah, nuggets won't work for an odd amount. If you do an even amount, it's fine, but that's a bit annoying. I'm just going to break that, I think, and replace it. Throw those back in there. Alright, so we got the maintenance hatch, the input hatches, the output hatch, and I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I want this all kind of laid out. Um, eventually I'm going to have a distillation tower and then maybe like a row of these producing the different um, light fuel and heavy fuel, etc. Naphtha. Uh, but for now I'm just going to kind of... How do I want... How do I going to get power into this thing? That is another question here. <laughs> I don't really know. Well, that, I could come out here, maybe, but all the stuff's kind of in the way. So I'm probably going to want this on top. Maybe through here. Like that and then come along I'll probably move that I think maybe like that and then come through 
That'll probably what I do. And then I'll... All right, so that doesn't work out. Perfect. Here, let's put it on the front then. There we go. I think that'll work. And then these pull two. Um, so I have a bunch of annealed copper. That should be fine. All right, so let's do, how about... And this is probably not where I'm going to keep these. I'll probably have them maybe down there. But the two input hatches on one side. Output hatch on that side. And then this, hopefully... Did I... Yeah, I got enough, right? Yeah. Is that how it's formed? Yep, perfect. Wire cutters one? No, wire cutters aren't. I can I keep forgetting if wire cutters are one. Although I did find out there is an electronic version of the the wire cutters. Is there? Yeah, I didn't realize there automatic snips are called. I didn't realize there was. So probably when these die or these run out of durability, we'll craft that up. Anyway. All right, so there is the large chemical reactor. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need 10 annealed times 2. Look at that. Perfect. I put some of this away. Although I may need the screwdriver. Where is wire cutter? I just realized, like, I shift click on that, and thank God it didn't like connect that because that would have like exploded. Gotta be really careful. Can I? Oops. There we go. All right, and I'm almost out of this rose red, so I'm gonna have to. Get some more. I'll probably do the spray paint because I think there it is. There's more. Anyway, so that should have power. Let's left click that. Now, this is probably going to just be a bit manually, manual at the right now because I don't have this all hooked up. Um, because I need to figure out how I want to do this. So this is what I kind of need. Why don't we just kind of for testing and I need to get a better one. I keep saying that and I keep forgetting. I need like oh it's gonna take a little while isn't it anyway so there is the 1600 and then this also needs hydrogen so I'm gonna have to have this hooked up to my hydrogen um, again I need to kind of figure out how I want this done now I'm thinking Sooner than later, I want to get this all hooked up into my AA system, all the fluids, like with storage buses, so I can transport them around without all the the Greg Tech pipes. I mean that it works, but uh, it's much easier when you can go off the same line. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there.
right, so that's going in there. We'll put that in there. And I think it needs a circuit, doesn't it? Um, let's put that in there. So yeah, it needs a program circuit of four. So 12 and two, and then it gets, oh, we need a second. I just realized we get two outputs from this. So I didn't actually. Shoot. I do have steel, right? Yep. Let's quickly make this uh, tin cable. And I also need circuits. Uh, I don't have any more circuits, I don't think. Oh, these don't turn into... Oh, they do. I might take a couple. How about we do four? Um, because I use these in sets of four. All right, so that is really good to know. So I'm gonna have one more of these. I do, thankfully. All right, so there's that. That output hatch. I don't remember what number it needs. A two. I need a two for that, and then I need a four for the chemical reactor. I do have a four. I'm going to leave these, I think, because I use them to create the inert thing. So one in there. All right. Uh, because I broke it, I, they couldn't enter the back. All right, so there is the output hatch. So I kind of screwed up uh, with the inert casings that I need, but it's not a big deal because I'm probably going to make plenty of these chemical reactors. All right, so there is the two outputs. Just double check. So sulfuric so hill. Does this need to go? I just realized this may need to go in an input bus. Yeah, that might need to go in an input bus, so I may even need that. Let me right-click this and see what happens. No, okay, so that is where the circuit goes. Okay, good to know. And there we go, there is our light fuel. Uh, no cells or anything like that. So what I'm probably gonna do is eventually, when I get all these, um, in between episodes, I may craft a couple I don't know how I want to do this. I was thinking maybe getting a couple of distilleries, but I'm going to have a distillation tower, which will, I won't need any of those feeding this. Um, I'll probably have this constantly filled with hydrogen and light fuel. The question is, am I going to want one for each? Am I going to want a separate? large chemical reactor for each thing I'm going to be crafting here. I got to figure this out. So would this be like Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, this will work if I have the A cables because I can put things on both sides. So would that be like heavy fuel? Will this be naphtha? And like refinery? Is it like refinery gas? I can't remember the last one that we get from oil. Sulfuric gas. So I can't remember what this is used for. Don't you get like methane and stuff from it? You get refinery gas, which you can burn. Like, so that is actually pretty good for like methane and stuff. So is that what I'm going to want? One for each of those main kind of things that I get from oil? Probably. I love multi-blocks, so the more the merrier. Um, and then I don't know where I'm going to put my distillation tower. Maybe over here. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to have to figure this out in between episodes. Anyway, that's going to be it. We're kind of running in a bit long here. Um, but I just want to get that going. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.